Hello and welcome to this video on the infamous Russian sleep experiment. In this video, we'll be delving into the true story of the Russian sleep experiment, exploring the origins of the experiment, the methodology behind it, and the horrific results that followed. So, sit back and prepare yourself for a chilling tale. The Russian sleep experiment took place in the 1940s, during the height of Stalin's reign. The experiment was carried out by a team of Soviet scientists who were interested in exploring the effects of sleep deprivation on the human mind. The team recruited five prisoners who were promised their freedom if they participated in the experiment. The prisoners were placed in a sealed chamber and with an experimental gas-based stimulant compound continually administered to keep the subjects awake for 30 consecutive days. The scientists closely monitored their behavior, hoping to learn more about the effects of sleep deprivation. The subjects behaved as usual during the initial five days, talking to each other and whispering to the researchers through the one-way glass, though it was noted that their discussions gradually became darker in the subject matter. After nine days, one subject began screaming uncontrollably for hours while the others did not react to his outburst. The man screamed for so long that he tore his vocal cords, and was rendered mute as a result. When the second one started screaming, the others prevented the researchers from looking inside by pasting torn book pages and their own feces on the porthole windows. A few days passed without the researchers being able to look inside, during which the chamber was completely silent. The researchers used the intercom to test if the subjects were still alive, and got a short response of a subject expressing compliance. On the 15th day, the researchers decided to turn off the stimulating gas and reopen the chamber. The subjects did not want the gas to turn off, fearing they would fall asleep. Upon looking inside, they discovered that the four surviving subjects had performed lethal and severe mutilation and disembowelment on themselves during the past days, including tearing off sections of skin and muscles, removing multiple abdominal internal organs, practicing self-cannibalism on themselves as well as cannibalism of the second subject, and allowing 10 centimeters, 4 inches, of blood and water to accumulate on the floor by jamming paper and pieces of flesh they tore from the second subject into several drains, who was found dead on the floor as soon as the chamber was opened. The subjects violently refused to leave the chamber and begged the scientists to continue administering the stimulant, murdering one soldier and severely injuring another that attempted to remove them. After eventually being removed from the chamber, all subjects were shown to exhibit extreme strength, unprecedented resistance to anesthetics and sedatives, the ability to remain alive despite lethal injuries, and a desperate desire to stay awake and be given the stimulant. It was also found that if any one of the subjects fell asleep, they would die. After being somewhat treated for their severe injuries, the surviving three subjects were prepared to return to the gas chamber with the stimulant by the orders of the military officials, though against the will of the researchers, with EEG monitors showing short recurring moments of brain death. Before the chamber was sealed, one of the subjects fell asleep and died, and the only subject that could speak screamed to be immediately sealed in the chamber. The military commander ordered for three other researchers to be closed inside the chamber alongside the two remaining subjects. One researcher immediately drew his gun and killed the commander and the mute subject by shooting both of them in the head, causing the other person to flee the room. With only one surviving subject, the terrified researcher explained that he would not allow himself to be locked in a room with monsters that could no longer be called people. He desperately asked what the subject was, to which the subject smiled and identified himself and the other fallen subjects as an inherent evil inside the human mind that is kept in check by the act of sleeping. After a brief pause, the researcher shot the prisoner in the heart, and with his dying breath on the floor, the subject muttered his final words, so, nearly, free. The Russian sleep experiment became immensely popular upon its original publication. 
It is considered by some to be the greatest and most shared creepypasta story ever made, and Dread Central's Josh Milliken has called it, one of the most shocking and impactful urban legends of the internet age. Much of the online and offline debate surrounds the belief held by many that the story is real rather than fiction, and many articles therefore seek to debunk this claim. The creepypasta is often shared alongside an image of a grotesque, demonic figure, which is implied to be one of the test subjects. The image is actually of a life-size animatronic Halloween prop called, Spasma. While the true story behind the experiment is still shrouded in mystery, it serves as a chilling reminder of the lengths that some will go to in the pursuit of knowledge. Thank you for watching this video, and please don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this.